everybody, it's Joanna. Welcome back to Amira Salon's channel. I want to invite you to check out my reading today called Crystals, Cards, and Connections. And if you missed the live stream last Sunday, then please take a look at that as well. We did a wonderful live stream on crystals, how you can incorporate them into your life. We talked a little bit about crystal prescriptions, like what I'm wearing today, these beautiful orange jade with carnelian that bring in creativity. And if you'd like your own personal crystal prescription, then you can go to amirasalon.com, look under her consultations button, Joanna, and then shoot me a message on maybe be like something you're working on in your life personally or for your pets or your home you can even send photos and I'll be glad to co-create the perfect crystal prescription just for you so let's take a look at the cards for this week and let me tell you it is coming out of that full moon in Sagittarius and it looks like it's gonna be a little interesting let's take a look okay everyone so let's take a look at the cards for the upcoming week following that Sagittarius full moon that we just came out of and I find these in energies a little interesting right now it almost seems like there's a little bit of a duality going on a little bit of like a yin and a yang energy but I really feel that it's kind of to our benefit it's like sometimes you have to go one way to kind of go the other and then meet in the middle so it's kind of what I was picking up today. We'll start with the crystals. I actually have what's laid out is a uh, rainforest rhodolite. And the rainforest energy of this particular stone uh, is bringing forth the yin and the yang. It's bringing forth the balance. It's a balancing stone. It's a nurturing stone. I believe it's also about connecting to the earth. So we're really wanting to stay connected this week that's what I'm feeling because I think you're gonna sense a little bit of a okay we're over here and then okay we're over here and it's kind of like okay what are we doing but if you can just remember to take a moment out of your day slow down take a breath and just kind of let that full moon energy continue to settle this week and get ready as we begin to move into the new moon so you know that full moon energy kind of has a three-day span before and after so just kind of move with what's going on. Don't resist. Don't fight. And then, you know, we're looking here. We have rose quartz. We just got one rose quartz this week, and it's kind of facing in this direction. What it kind of tells me is that the self is feeling a little off balance. So we want to find a way to restore our balance back to ourself. And the best way to do that, rose quartz is about self-love. Rose quartz is about being gentle. So try to bring forth some gentleness this week to yourself, to your community, to uh, your workplace. And then jade is coming in. We have three points of jade, and they kind of came out at an interesting angle here. So what I'm seeing is that the jade is just reminding us that there is protection in the heart. You know, jade is green. Jade is heart center, heart chakra, and it's known for nurturing the heart. So we have this rose quartz, which is heart center, softening energies, loving of the self. And then we have the protection coming in with the jade. And then we always know jade is good luck. So there's some luck coming in this week if we just stay heart centered and stay kind. And just remember that when we're getting pulled one way and the other, that we can come back to kindness. We can come back to peace and self-love for the self. And then we've got this labradorite kind of leading out here from there. Labradorite is about psychic protection. You know, I think what happens is when the full moon kicks up, then people get a little, you know, they feel it. And sometimes they have their own ways of reacting. You know, those that are in tune feel it and go, okay, this is the full moon. And okay, now what am I going to do with it? But those that are not in tune or even aware of these types of energies, they kind of uh, play out these energies, right? Like full moon makes people a little more winky, crazy, or maybe they feel a little imbalanced or over emotional. So psychic protection this week, you've got some of that. Just remember to put in your grounding cords, maybe put your bubble of energetic energy around yourself, wear your stones. Okay. Labradorite is a great stone for psychic protection. And, um, you know, Jade is also protection for heart. So it looks like this week, we're going to feel it, the push, the pull, the up, the down, but we can rebalance by coming back to the self, using that heart protection, using that psychic protection and connecting to the earth. Okay, so moving into the cards, while we're working with these energies, there will be victory and success this week. So whatever we're working on, you're going to have some victory and success, and it seems like that will be around the, the energy of balancing. Um, so maybe you've got projects you're working on, you'll be able to find balance in those. If you've got family relationships that are up and down, those will balance out. 
you know, so just take a look at trying to find victory and success in that this week by coming back to the self and then returning to the project or the family situation and just kind of let it work itself out because that's what's going to happen. It's just going to kind of victoriously move along. And, you know, the obstacles card came up in the middle. So I think it is saying, you know, we've got some obstacles. We've got some challenges. We've already gotten the victory and success that came before that. So even if the moon energies uh, pull some things in for clarification or letting go, don't hold on. Just let things in, let things out like a wave in the ocean. Okay. So just knowing that obstacles and challenges are nothing more than contrast leading to clarity, that you're going to get the information you need. You're going to move right along out of that energy as the full moon lets go. Now fertility. So they're going to bring, there are going to be things that come forth out of this full moon. Um, you know, Sagittarius being that earth energy, we're going to find that we're earthing things. And, you know, the earth is where the manifestation occurs. We're in the third dimension. So through the changes this week with the full moon, the ups to down, the twist to turns, let that fertility come through because you're going to let go. You're not going to hold on. Full moons are about letting go. And then you'll see some fertility coming in right after that. I crowned the reading with Amira Salon's deck today. And I use, or excuse me, I pulled the card Wallflower. And then I laughed because right after it, we pulled the Dating Queen. So it was so, okay, here we go again. The Wallflower card is about being kind of this wildflower, being one extreme, maybe not being in balance. And then the dating queen card is totally the opposite. It's about being in balance and being in alignment, receiving all your gifts and being gifted all these things when you're in balance. So we got both of those cards here. We've got the wildflower and the dating once again confirming we're going to have a little twist and turn this week. But we did end on the dating queen. So what that says is if it's a little bit, you know, up and down, twist and turn, don't worry. You're going to get that balance back by the end of the week and things are going to be perfectly in alignment and you're going to feel really great. So if you like what you heard today, then please give it a like, a thumbs up, and you can check me out on amirasalon.com under this consultations button, Joanna. And if you're interested in the crystal prescriptions, then please again, go take a look at that live stream and we can co-create some crystal prescription just for you. Okay, everyone, have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.